countries where the market is big are 10 times costlier than Indian cars for diagnosis and treatment. Yet, the market is very big there. We are the cheapest on this earth. You take any healthcare facility, look at the standardized uh, menu cards, rates. We are at least one-fifth of the cost of the developed market. And even the emerging markets, we are no costlier. So if someone says uh, cost in India is uh, dwarfing, and it's not a right statement. Can Indians afford at least this cost is another question, which is not anything to do with the service delivery system and cost. It is the buying man's capacity. He obviously, in India, still uh, a population of uh, almost 40% below poverty line. Uh, we can't afford many of the diagnostic and healthcare solutions. Not because they are costly, because we are too poor. They cannot be made too cheaper, because I don't think in healthcare anything is Indian. In healthcare today 95% is imported. All imported come with a cost. And every day dollar keeps going up, euro keeps going up. I don't think any Indian is having any way of subsidizing beyond his means. I think today we have in India very effective services. Competition is there between the players. All of them are trying to keep uh, the cost low so that the beds remain full. The laboratory has enough of business. Beyond this, the cost cannot be brought down. I don't think uh, any great magic can bring down the cost. It is bare essential cost. We need to improve per capita income of an Indian, which is the job of uh, the government and the politicians to plan and uh, create opportunities for youth. It's going to be another 50 years to 100 years to see Indians also can afford health care. 95% uh, of the is coming from abroad. So is it uh, there is a depth of the actual research and development in this country? So what do you think can be done for this? I must tell you, it's all grandfather's mistakes. When I say grandfather's mistake, not uh, two generations back, around 20 generations back, those guys were willing to travel and explore and find out where wealth is. Indians were sitting and uh, fighting with neighbors, uh, uh, chasing gold, chasing uh, girls chasing wealth or chasing what is uh, easy to chase. If um, somebody came to, uh, Portuguese came to Goa, if uh, somebody went to uh, America, that is uh, uh, some expedition, the guys from Europe were having an expedition, guys from UK came to India to rule India, we Indians got ruled, we never went anywhere else to rule. If you look at it, this is the background on which India has uh, uh, history. Now, when it comes to technologies, those guys are were 500 years ahead, 100 years back. 10 years back, they were 50 years ahead. Today, they are 5 years ahead. We need to take another 10 years to first match with the global uh, competencies. They are feeding for the entire world, so they have a volume. India has small healthcare market, so it's a small volume. So Indian entrepreneurs still got not got motivated to create Indian solutions. And the, the killing aspect is, no Indian likes Indian solution as much as he likes imported solution. It's, uh, strange that Couple of entrepreneurs have started. Uh, I asked them how business is going on. Yeah, actually if you tell imported, everyone purchases it. If you tell I am making in India, people are thinking that it won't work well. This attitude also is there. So 95% still is imported. The market is highly, uh, uh, I would say, uh, well exploited by the countries which had monopoly of technology. They don't share. And then we need to identify, we need to do R&D, which we are not having priority. 
government has sent post health care i have been told china for the last 10 years got infused billions of dollars by government of china into the market for instrument and technology in india custom duties are loaded on every import also and they want entrepreneurs to purchase and do a social service free of cost it's pathetic priority by bureaucracy dr vidimani uh, when you talk about these policies of uh, import duties being levied what are the policies of the government will actually help entrepreneurs like you in healthcare to bring down the cost as well as bring pick up the quality you first interact with them try to listen to ask them what actually are the needs and the priorities are the pain points where we have as of today one thing is healthcare doesn't have any better status than any other industry in terms of electricity in terms of uh, taxes in terms of uh, income tax in terms of nothing it they have to compete with any other industry 100% imported all the, all the item 95% of the item have high custom duty Correct. including tuberculosis and hiv kind of uh, uh, medicines or sorry, sorry not medicine diagnostic uh, uh, reagent right so people have to understand what helps the society you try to uh, reduce the custom duty develop a institute which raises resources to sustain delivery systems for a 1.2 billion population and more academic institutes only confer a degree they don't make a man employable so create some kind of uh, employability uh, a training not it is uh, getting one more degree so these are all the things which you if you believe uh, if you want me to explain as the why are you not referring to the subsidy for health that the government can give for instance in a in a in a country like us that is the most important issue during elections we don't even hear anything about health during elections i think i still remember one of the मुकेश सॉन्ग मुझे मेरी हाल पे छोड़ दो मुझे तुमसे कुछ न चाहिए वेन इट कम्स टू गवर्नमेंट सपोर्ट अटलीस्ट दिस वुड नॉट इंटरफियर एंड ट्रबल यू इवन टुडे थिंग्स आर मूविंग वेल आई थिंक प्राइवेट इज कंट्रीब्यूटिंग अ लॉट एंटरप्रनर्स लाइक मी देर आर डजेंस इन द कंट्री ऑल ऑफ अस फाइट विथ ईच अदर वी आर रिड्यूसिंग द कास्ट Sure. we are uh, already doing what government of india is supposed to be actually doing but if you ask me not that truly we are looking for subsidies if i buy a machine i have to pay 20% to 40% custom duty exempt it that's a subsidy i don't want any or other industry to tell oh, you are unnecessarily pampering healthcare industry today we don't have adequate beds sure. we don't have adequate ct mri diagnostic centers whatever limited are there have come through only entrepreneurs and these entrepreneurs are at times overcharging at times demand supply is pushing it so costly that an end user certainly cannot afford it sure. so a simple help the government of india can do in this country is make a list and declare the rates importance for the services okay. mri 4000 no, no one else can charge more than 4000 nationwide there is no policy you have decided the the rate between baroda and trivandrum by first class dismiss second class dismiss third class dismiss this is not decided by every railway babu can't you decide how much uh, ultrasound can be charged how much a ct can be charged how much uh, put it how much should be a thyroid profile how much should be a lipid profile over you are basically trying to say a price regulation not regulation guidelines 
common man has no guidelines. Don't punish a man who is uh, overcharging. He anyhow is going to be punished by a man who is going to pay because he will not go to him. Oh, it's like the bank deal. Exactly. People will then come to, you know, create a knowledge to an end user that what he needs to pay maximum. Sure. Best idea. You, if you see drug industry becoming more standardized because there is an MRP, there is no MRP in diagnostics, there is no MRP in healthcare. A doctor guesses at what he will charge and he will charge that. There is no system of public knowing what can be the actual cost. And to give a solution, government should have at least in uh, 20 different locations, at that rate, services available. So that they are giving it. A private people would do what system or nature is dictating. Given freedom, they will do things wrong. <laughs> Don't give freedom. Tell them this is what is the charge. You can always add something more and something more if the end user feels that his office, his other, uh, what you call as, uh, yeah environment in which he has uh, his uh, system, well, that's some good word is there. You do a lot of interior to get ambience. Ecosystem. If you want to pay for ambience, you pay another 200, 300, you are entitled for it. But the basic test cost is more or less should be same. Same thyroid testing, someone charges 200, someone charges 2000. Doesn't make much of a sense. But uh, just a normal regular uh, nursing home, they can take test at a lower cost, but you cannot claim the same amount from a 40s or other person. So how can they, they That's what I'm telling you. Uh, nursing home man tries to get a patient, so he has uh, reducing his cost to get a patient. Big five-star hotels, hospitals, have crowd coming to them and they are charging whatever they feel like. So if you notice it, for some man a need is there, so he is going down. For another man, things comes to his table, so he has a comfort. So you want, unless otherwise you put a rate and standardize it, you can't ask. It is as simple as this, this gentleman has hardly any patience, so he will see per patient 100 rupees per visit. You have 200 people lined up, so you won't take anything less than 1000 rupees. So you can't, somebody cannot tell that he is looting. It is because your queue is too long. It is because he has no queue. So if you look at it, even diagnostic tests, everything more or less falls in that category. But here, when it comes to a medical man, it is purely brain power. Opinion, knowledge, testified. When it comes to testing, the same medicine is with me and that nursing home, the same medicine is in that five-star hospital. That man charges for the same output 1200, this man charges for the same output 300. It is injustice. CT machines, MRI machines are standardized machines globally. You can't charge somewhere 3000 for a CT and somewhere else 8000 for a CT. These are all injustice. Intellectual, it's a different one. Histopathology, if someone is reading and giving an opinion, whether it is malignant or not, it's opinion cost. Opinion cost can be any high because it's opinion. A numerical number which is coming out of a medicine cannot, cannot be different. It has to be the same. So this has been, in fact, a very big stress for big hospitals because doctors start asking, in our hospital also we have the same medicine, this man also has the same medicine, why it costs too much for our patient, then the hospital has philosophies to justify. <laughs> but then unfortunately doctors also tell, you get the test done and then come and register in our do uh, uh, center because once you registered you can't go out and get it done. So these are all happening off late because the doctor has conscience. He doesn't, he, for him it is the patient, for him it is not the infrastructure in, uh, institute. He has only one man to attend to, that is his patient. There are plenty of the time doc, uh, the consultants have walked out because they didn't find the philosophy of the institute patient friendly. Patient friendly is very important.